exciting and action and art packed episode of The Art of F.A. Checky. And today we're going to do a painting of Sonic the Hedgehog. One of my son's uh, favorite video game characters, as well as mine, played it on the Sega, I believe it was just the Genesis, Sega Genesis back in the day. Uh, real cool character that just really colorful and vibrant and fun. And so we're gonna first sketch it out and then we're gonna paint it. I think we'll do acrylics because it gets, it gets um, the job done a lot faster. Could do oils, but we'll do it in acrylics. Only need a few colors, but you'll see a picture of Sonic over here. Blue, white, red, that's mostly what he is. Um, maybe a little other uh, black for shading and, and um, uh, grain down some colors, but pretty simple. Maybe a little yellow, put a ring in there or something. Uh, but first, before we start drawing, I'm gonna get myself a cup of coffee, and show you um, what I have here for drawing supplies. Uh, pretty pretty easy to get at pretty much any uh, art store or order it on online. Uh, I, I could free paint it. I don't like doing that because there's a lot of corrective work going back over it. Every artist has their way of doing things. Sometimes it's like people like to impress and say, oh, I free painted all that. Okay, great. That's if you're a performance artist, I guess you want to show people how sweet you are at your art. <laughs> Man, that was such an 80s word. Sweet, or maybe 90s too, sweet. All right, so here we go here on the table here. We've got canvas. We've got some various pencils. This is good for like shading and things like that. And pencil sharpener and eraser, pretty easy. All right, but uh, first we're gonna sketch it out. Probably just do a little time lapse or something, I don't know. We'll show some of the drawing, but really it's all about more about painting than drawing. It's all art, uh, but um, we, we really just want to demonstrate in this video a few things, colors that you'll use, uh, the style techniques to make like a, a you know, fun picture uh, or painting or illustration. This one, of course, for my nine-year-old son who wants to probably put it in his room, but um, first we'll dry it out, like I said, sketch it out, and then we'll paint it. All right, so stay tuned. Uh, for the next segment here where we uh, show some of the drawing and then for the painting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and please subscribe. Please share. But thank you for all those that have. Thank you all also all those who support the show. Art of F.A. Checky. Every episode dedicated to supporting the arts and charitable giving. So your watching of this show helps me raise funds uh, to support arts uh, like charities or to create a charity. Um, and we need your views. So if you would, share, subscribe, like, comment, everything that helps the algorithm on this mysterious YouTube thing. <laughs> so thank you again, and uh, hope you continue watching. Okay. <laughs> Done drawing. I uh, don't want to overdo drawing because I'm gonna be painting it. You know, there's some corrections we could do with the paint. Um, man, Grizzly Adams got to shave that beard. Um, <laughs> got to grow the full afro, get the full Bob Ross beard, and I'm all set. <laughs> so anyway, um, got a few uh, art supplies in here. You can kind of take a look at some paint. I just got the basic colors, green, black, white, yellow. Um, don't think we'll need so much Indian yellow. Got some red, um, cad red, cadmium red, uh, white. They're all acrylic. I'm gonna do this in acrylics, why not? But first we've got to paint around the drawing, as you can see here. Um, can you see it? Got it. Maybe I should just lift it up. Uh, you can see here the drawing. We're going to paint around. I think we're going to do like a white-ish on the... Um, uh, we're going to do a whitish bottom there. And I'm going to do like a... I'm going to take out the old ruler here and draw in a grid. And do like kind of a, a minty green and purplish background. Like kind of like a checkerboard like in the game. Um, which I'll put in there. But I want to show you... Uh, first, you know, what we're using, uh, basically he's blue, he's got a little red, he got a little gold on his uh, buckle, on his shoe, a lot of white, obviously, in certain areas, a little bit of blacks, but, you know, there's a lot of, uh, of, of this will be um, 
lay down as far as the basic color and then we'll highlight it, okay? So what you'll see at first is very flat and then we're gonna try to make it look a little more kind of 3D-ish, okay? Um, it, it want it to kind of have a, a little bit of a CGI look to it. But first I'm gonna draw that in and you're gonna see that with the layout because I think it's gonna look really sharp with that checkerboard, like I said, green, like a lighter green with a uh, purplish, um, you know, checkerboard, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> That's chessboard, checkerboard. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I think my son Matthew's going to really love it, and I hope you love it too. Um, I just posted also uh, in the middle of making this video on my uh, Art of FA Checky on Facebook, uh, my, my art page, what I'm working on, because these are just fun little projects, and they make someone happy. And, and I think if you just spend some time uh, you know, picking something for somebody, make it for them. Uh, it'll make your day and their day too. All right, so pause in here and we will be back to, later in just a moment after you see the picture of the grid and, and the, how it's all laid out. Finally, perspective, um, we'll actually start on the painting. All righty, so here is the grid. I needed some time to just draw it in. It wasn't too exciting to draw that, so I'm not going to put a bunch in between from last. I described what I was doing till now. Got you those segments, though, a little segment before uh, drawing Sonic. But tested out the uh, acrylics on the canvas, and they look okay. I'm going to start with purple, and then I'm going to do green. And I got this little chisel brush, just like this. A bigger one I'm using, too, if I... This one's gonna get into the corners easier. Um, I got a bigger one here that has green on it as I was testing the paint out, but they're just little chisel brushes as I call them. And they work really well for lines, for me at least. All right, so I'm gonna be painting that. Maybe a little ASMR for you as I'm painting squares. <laughs> the next 10, 15 minutes, I, I can't even tell you for sure. Somewhere in that range, it's, <clears throat> it's ASMR. Just painting and music just skip ahead if you are not interested in watching just peaceful relaxing asmr painting painting asmr uh, if you want to watch it something just to relax to but i understand if you skip ahead to the uh, additional work that we do uh, or that I, we I, am i two people or one people <laughs> i don't know um if you want to just skip ahead to where I start painting Sonic the Hedgehog, that's cool. I just wanted to fit this little interlude there with the ASMR because I thought it would be great for some of y'all because I hear some people really love it.
All right, so we are back on the attack with Sonic the Hedgehog, and I have a little bit more. I was trying to show it to you, but I'll have to pick it up. I'm going to pick it up here, kind of show you right there what we've done. Some acrylics. Got it all just blocked in mostly with the colors that we're going to use, and then acrylics dry very fast. And that's why we're using this. Later we can go on with, uh, over it. Can't even talk today, what's going on? Later we will go over it with uh, the, the oil paint. Uh, we don't have to do that right now. What I'd like to do is just let you um, get a, a peek at the colors. Again, we just have this cadmium red. It's just acrylics for the shoes. I think we had a little bit of yellow, which we can mix with uh, Perhaps just kind of dull it down with some Mars Black. Uh, but we also have Indian Yellow. I didn't think we'd use that, but I think we might. After all, it was out here. Oh, yeah. A little bit of uh, Indian Yellow for the shoe buckle. And then I got these two little tubes. I don't use them hardly ever at all. It's uh, Ultramarine and Cerulean Blue to give Sonic a little bit more than just a, a pale blue. We got some Prussian Blue as well. Let's just start painting Sonic. Um, I figured let's do the blue part first. Why not? <laughs> you can see my little work area, my most heinous palette here. I'm going to just kind of mix together these two blues I mentioned earlier. Maybe a little tiny bit of white. I'm going to use this tiny little brush because I love it, first of all. Not like I love cake, but I love it. Yes. I just probably called myself a cat, fat kid. Clearly not a kid, I'm too old for that. Maybe I act like a kid sometimes. Quiet and paint, F.A., you wanna see it. So I'm gonna kinda get in right here in this area. Oops, uh, covered the camera, didn't mean to do that. You kinda see Sonic right in there. Um, all right, I'm going to have to readjust there. All right, that's better. <laughs> oh boy, I told you about the colors, how to readjust the camera there. So unprofessional. So I don't care. Go up over the eyes, kind of paint in where you see this, um, brow and as we get in closer we're going to go a little darker around the edges of the eyes and the pencil marks actually become a very good guide for me I don't know about y'all um, we talked about free painting earlier which some folks um, who paint do that and they just want to paint without any preconceived notions of what um, the pencil has created and some people are maybe just that skilled I suppose too 
Um, whereas if I'm trying to do something faster, I don't think I could do that. If I kept doing this with paint, it would eventually just get to the point where I'm just going over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over fixing this, fixing that. And I have, I do some things on paintings where I didn't draw it in, I just free paint it. And again, we're just using this uh, blue, these blues that we're mixing, the ultramarine and the cerulean, which look really great. Getting in the sonic color. Um, and blocking in with this little brush, just so I can texturize this a bit um, and, and work in the colors the way I see fit. As it gets uh, towards the top of the ear, uh, we may want to differentiate that with some darkness, okay? But I do have some lighter paint in here to kind of break it up. Or just add white to the paintbrush. This is one thing I really don't like to do complete paintings in acrylics. And that's because uh, it doesn't flow for very long. And it look it it's great for like if you want to do like a 30 minute painting, like one of those, you know, Bob Ross style demos um, where you just want to detail it, get it done, um, paint, you know, is where you want to get those details, you just need it to dry pretty fast. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it um, for every artist, but some artists really like it and it's cheaper. I have to admit doesn't hurt the pocketbook as much. I don't have a pocketbook. I do have a wallet. You guys are like, yeah, right. You have a pocketbook, man. What if I did? Who cares? Now, I have to think of what is that color going to be right in there. There's a little gap in there. You'll see right there. I think that would probably be the green coming through. We can do that later. But I really want to get these lines too. And we'll go back over the purple and the green later um, and even that out. So here we're just getting the basic color Sonic in. And uh, I really hope you liked the ASMR segment earlier. Um, I haven't really got to do more like true ASMR um, where a lot of people love it with the uh, paint. Wow, that paint got ripped. So that's one thing about acrylics too. I just ripped that paint right off. Um, and uh, that might mean I have to thin it a bit and then go back over and apply it. Uh, water is very easy to thin acrylics and it's cheap. You don't have to buy mineral spirits or odorless mineral spirits. It comes very cheap from the faucet, although it is a, a limited resource. But you're only going to need to use some for painting. But what I do love about doing things like this, and, and I have another painting I'll, I'll show you on another show when we touch it up. It's been a year now since I've done it. And I was thinking of touching it up closer to Halloween this year. Um, it's it's uh, monsters around the uh, card table playing cards, kind of like the dog painting. Uh, uh, a friend of mine on Facebook by the name of uh, Joe Ward, he helped me come up with the idea. or he, It was pretty much his idea. <laughs> And you can hear my dogs barking out there. Again, we're just getting in basic colors here. Um, this little brush is going to definitely leave us a lot of work to be done with the oils when we go back over it. Okay? But that's okay. We're all going to get in this basic blue. Now below his belly here, he's really dark in here. And he's got the little tail right in here. Move the camera. He has his little blue tail thing. What I love about Sonic is he's just so iconic looking, you know? But the game was iconic. And I guess there's a movie coming out now. I didn't even find out about that till this week. And I think that's really cool. I think Jim Carrey's in it, um, if I recall correctly. I'm just getting more of this color on my brush. Get more of this uh, cerulean up here, make it a lot lighter. Uh, yeah, there we go. So 
think a light source coming up from top. I want to say the light source up somewhere over there. We'll have to make sure on the rings it really shows up that way. Nice, okay. Put that. And again, I'm wiping off paint, but it's okay. It's just lightening it up. And it'll eventually be flushed out more. I'm gonna wipe off my brush a bit. Sometimes you just gotta wipe the brush off. Um, just to get that that color um, flowing out of the brush instead of like globbing out of the brush. Use a little water, let it flow. Because in the end, I think it's, from my understanding, uh, acrylics is water-based. Although when it dries, man, does it dry well because it's hard to get out of your clothes and stuff. Just like any other markers and stuff that are water-based. But anyway, get that leg down here. You get, uh, we're gonna go over this oils some other point. Today, I just really wanna get the Sonic acrylics in. And we'll just do a post on my site at another point where um, you can see the whole thing done. I don't think we're going to get the whole thing done today. Daddy's got kid duty here too. We might do a little bit later with the kids here. But then my daughter, she's going to go nuts over this whole thing. Daddy, make me. What are you going to make me? What are you going to make me? What are you going to make me? Nothing today. This is for Matthew. I'll do yours. You have a, a painting I did in your room. With the rainbow, uh, it, it was like a sea. I did a sea painting for a long time with a rainbow, and it, she just really wanted something with a rainbow. I'm like, okay, well, today is about your your brother. Even though I'm, he's got one of my paintings, the one I talked about, on loan in his room, the monsters around the card table, which I know my daughter is not happy about that one. But kids can get a painting when they get their paintings um, when I get to it. Because I live with them. But I got other people that want stuff too. And my wife is, well, she's so mad at me right now. Because I haven't got to her elephant painting. Which I'm going to show you all how to do. An elephant painting. I don't know exactly what she wants anymore now. Because she's like, whatever, the one you want, I wanted from you. My friend ordered it for me, a version of it online. I'm like, well, I could have painted it for you. And this would have been a moot point to make me feel really bad about it. <laughs> but yeah, I was working on the, that seaside piece. And oh my God, a piece that will live in infamy even in my own home. Okay. So you kind of get an idea here what... Sonic, um, his colors, his arms, I do believe are a peachish color. His, his little mouth here is a peachish color. White gloves, red shoes. Um, and so we're gonna have some other colors that we have to apply here. But I wanted to get that basic blue color in first, just to block in the tones and everything that we want. And then we'll do more. We well, can kind of get a good look at Sonic there. Uh, when you do the oils, you could flip. This is all blocked in. This is this is one of the things about acrylics. You really have to go over it layer after layer with um, and thin it, and you know it, it's a different process altogether. But it really does work well for me when I just want to get a painting um, without all the fine details uh, on there. Because once this is all done, boy, is it going to look cool. Once without the oils on it. Um, yeah, just for the detail, but that's it for now. And, uh, I'll do the shoe here next, um, here in just a second. And okay, here we are at this stage. Still fairly rough around the edges, but I, I put in, uh, the red part for the shoes. I, I painted the, 
the rings, these uh, <clears throat> yellow, a little Indian yellow, put a little white to give them shine. Just acrylics. Uh, so finally, what we're gonna do is make sure our brushes are very clean, okay? And uh, we're gonna have to work on these eyes. And we're gonna have to work on these gloves. Now you're wondering, how did you get that like kind of peachish tone? Very easy. Cad cadmium red, um, yellow makes like an orange. Just add in some white. I put in a little hint of the Indian yellow. And you can see it right here where I made it on the awfully dirty <laughs> palette. Uh, kind of a peachish color right here. So anyway, very clean brushes. And we're gonna work a dog. Where's a hello, Alice? This is our, our mutt, our adopted dog. She's such a baby, but we love her. Okay, you wanna lick my arm while I paint? Very well. Okay, so as yeah, she shakes the table I'm on. Could have been doing this in my art studio, but it's a mess up there and I don't wanna clean off my desk. So I'm just gonna do it down here. If you saw where I was before in my previous videos versus now, Alice, get down. Alice, look at her, she's being a big baby. Get down, please. Got all the kids, the kids are gonna probably storm here any minute. Speaking of storm, it's gonna storm bad here in Texas. That's the commotion I deal with every day. That was the teenagers leaving. We'll be back. We're gonna go be cool somewhere. I'm just putting the white into the eyes. Just using acrylics again. And we want to put some white on these gloves, especially around these um, cuffs here. We'll put the shading back in with the Mars black. Got a little pencil line there, needs to be. I mean, I don't know how the hell that... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I put in the checkerboard thing here. Like, how did that get there? And then you think back to what you did. Happy accidents, happy mistakes. That's the shirt I have on today. Boy, were there some happy mistakes on this one here. I accidentally put oils in with acrylics and mixed them. I didn't mean to do that. That uh, or ultramarine was actually oils. I didn't read the... I didn't read my, um, cause I got these little tubes, some of which are acrylic and the little tubes and some of which are oils. I didn't read it well enough, but it's all good. We'll just put the Prussian blue over. I had some Prussian blue out here, just fixed it with that. And we're gonna probably just end off here in the next few minutes, just kind of working these gloves and shoes. I don't wanna go over too much on my pencil lines cause they're gonna be really helpful later on as I shadow, but we do need to, the bottom of the shoe needs a lot of work, obviously, um, and that's fine. That's why I love acrylics for this type of stuff, because it's all dry and go over it. Hey, Dad, who are you talking to? As soon as the kids come in here, I'll be like, oh, are you YouTubing? And they're like, yeah. Doing my thing, not gonna make any flossing videos or whatever you kids wanna do. Not today. All right, there's just a hint of white up here on the top of the shoe, a little bit of shine right there. That buckle goes right there, I believe. Probably end up getting some more red on there anyways. This shoe here. I'm just putting that white in, and I think I accidentally picked up a little yellow on there, but it's all right. It's gonna get all white anyways. 
think because on my uh, canvas, I'm not my why do I call it my palette had some yellow on there before. Sorry, right, because it all get whited over as I get back into the oils again. We're gonna do the final oil off camera, maybe. Because this is really something you could do all in acrylics, but for me, um, I just wanted to show the basic painting of Sonic. Now, if you have this problem here, like I have contamination in my paint, just clean off your brush. Um, go back over with some white. It's not a big deal. Uh, Side of the shoe. Little teeth in there. Don't forget his little teeth. But there's a little line in between the teeth. Don't want to lose that line. And then finally the eyes, which check this green again. Yeah, this is definitely acrylic. Double check that green. So the green, he has a kind of greenish looking eyes. I don't want it to really match um, the background as much. So I'm gonna put some yellow into this green, make a really yellowish green. And maybe just do a hint of some of the sap green. If we need some more there. You can see around where all those little white dots and that's where I'm gonna fill in a lot with oils, just get, getting rid of that uh, really speckled white that just peers through there. Um, and it's gonna happen with your paintings, if, unless you go over it a lot, you'll have the white underneath and that's fine. It's, it's, it's easy to get rid of. You just need to use your fine, fine brushes, thin it down. You're gonna go over it at some point. Um, so it's an easy process to get rid of. And then this is just to give the indication of the eyes, um, to remind me that they're a greenish color in the um, iris. All right. And then we're going to this Mars black, do the nose. pupils with this tiny little brush mm. you make a little gray here kind of gotta get some of that green out of this brush or else it's gonna be like a gray green we just want pure gray right here and that's where you can just go back in at some point and just Put in the shadows. Use a little more white on the brush. I can go back over with the white. Um, need a little shadow in here. Especially where the arm is there. Just a little bit in there. Wipe off your brush. Go back into some white. And that's where we could do a lot with the oils here too, is just to even out everything. Um, we'll be building some shadows here too with underneath the arm. But I think oil is very effective because of flow. It's a different medium, different medium altogether. Totally different stuff. It's good, good to just use some acrylics, do a whole painting with it every once in a while just to be able to demonstrate some stuff uh, that you want to show people. Uh, and uh, in this video here, definitely wanted to do something a little different to pull in a little bit of the ASMR um, appeal that seems to be so popular right now. It is fun to watch someone paint. When I used to watch Bob Ross paint, man, that just calmed me down. His voice too, well, I think his voice was ASMR and his painting and the sounds 
this is just visual, more of a visual look ASMR uh, experience, not so much sounds. Not my voice. If anything, I'm annoying, annoy someone. Oh yeah, and then we said right in here we had some uh, green in that gap. Let's just fill that gap in right there with that little green. And it's pretty much a done, blo that's blocked in, people. That is completely blocked in. And we'll be, oh, we'll overlay that then with the oils. And my son hopefully really like it. Showed him a little bit earlier. He's excited for this to be done to put up in his room. He wants to see the Sonic movie. Loves the game. Brings back a lot of memories doing this deal uh, with Sonic the Hedgehog. And um, had a good time doing this. So thanks all for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, talk about us. Again, everything that we can raise with AdRev. Ad, the ad revenue, we want to raise money for the arts, our arts charities and other charitable giving. 50% to give away. Um, we want to do something good here, but we need you guys. We need viewers like you to subscribe and get the word out, share on social media and so forth. So again, thank you for watching and hopefully we will see you next time.